telling me something. The wind's picking up too. Let's get back. Hello, hello, hello. Crotch Lake, Frontenac Country, County. August 29th, 2021. It's a Sunday, and I have three nights at Camp 47. I expected to be fully drenched by now. It's supposed to be rainy all day. I still hope for a thunderstorm after I set up. I love taking storm shots. But uh, this, this summer, 2021, in the Ottawa Valley has been... So what better place to do it than get some here? I've got a good line of sight from my site. Faces south and southwest, southeast, east, west. I got a good 180 degrees. So straight ahead at 12 o'clock, there's a large island right there and a smaller one right there. And uh, they're just out front of my site. Well, we got some rollers, some boat waves here. There are motorboats on this lake. In fact, there's about 70 sites. So it's not a quiet lake, but it's big. So now I'm cutting between those two islands, and I think I've got my eyes on home. Site 47, straight ahead. Nice little peninsula just for me. Elevated view. Paddling distance for sunrise shots, sunset shots, Milky Way shots. Yeah, I see 47 marked on the tree. There she is. She's got a nice tree right on the point. Mighty tree. Okay, all right, I haven't seen the site yet either, so here's a trail up. <laughs> oh, baby. I love it. Look at the height on this fire pit. What's that about? Crazy, pretty tiny. Hmm. I might fix that up. Over here will be the tent pad. That's sunset direction over there. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, tent can go here, or perhaps we'll see what's back here. Oh yeah, I'll put it here. I have to look around for, there's another fire pit. That ain't right. More grills too. Well, there might even be more spots for tent, but I'm gonna get the tarp going, and I'll have to check off, check for runoff too. I don't want to be on a low spot. Okay, okay, and I'm only just beginning. I got the whole trip ahead of me still. Mm. Just heard thunder. Let's check it out. When I first heard that thunder, it was frequent, like every 10 seconds. Now I haven't heard any in almost 10 minutes. Everything's tucked under there for now, so we'll see what happens. The trees I'm using for my ridge line are so far apart. And it's a big heavy line, it's 10 mil I guess. So I can't get all the slack out of it. So I'm just gonna go find some long branch that's forked and try to do something here, pin it into the ground. Yeah, as I pointed out when I arrived, this fire pit is just full of ash. And it's getting narrow and narrow as people put more and more rocks. I don't know why they would deal with that. 
It is a bit of a chore though. There we go. I'd say that's more reasonable. Little grill, I can put some embers under there. And I'm glad I got that done while the cloud was still around because out comes the sun. And the clouds that remain over there are high level clouds. They, if it stays like that, that'll be some color tonight. Sunlight's bringing a lot of new character to this place. Let's go about six, seven, maybe further down, six, seven feet. I wonder if there's fish in there, but I'm, I'm told that they're staying deep because of the heat wave. But maybe it's shady enough in there and it's been cloudy today. Okay, I'm going to get some firewood. And I'm not going to get firewood back in here. And a paddle over there to the island and there's going to be a lot of, a lot of wood there. It's been picked clean behind me in the bush here, so... I don't know if I want to burn it or just leave it at camp to do a little home decor. Twenty-three now. I think I can get the fire going, just in case there's weather coming in. Those clouds look sort of dark, but not dense, you know. So, but in case there's something behind it, I want to get this thing fired up. I just hung my food bag there for now. It'll go up in a tree later. But little chipmunk was sniffing around, keeping me on my toes. I'm just gonna duck in here and get some tinder, some kindling. Actually, I have tinder, I got that birch bark, but get a few twigs. I'm gonna have an early dinner. I wanna be free myself up to go picture hunting later, get the big camera out. Oh boy. Man, he really went for it. just coming over to get my dinner it's gonna be uh, cheddar smokies by the way but I'm into my food bag and it turns out I don't know when he did this he might have done it from the tree that I just hung it in or he might have done it while I was swimming or gathering wood and I take this and we're gonna hang it out here for now keep an eye on things
There was just a mighty splash down here as I was tending the fire. And it had a pretty good slap to it, so it could have been a beaver, but I haven't seen any sign of beaver around here. I'm just hoping it was a big pike hunting in the weeds. Normally I'd bring tortillas, and I did, but I thought I had more at home, so I'll save those for a different meal. And just bite these apart. Get ready for the meat sweats. I was all set to go exploring after my dinner and I forgot I should probably get the bear hang sorted out. About 80, 80 feet from my site. It's supposed to be 100, but we're going to run with 80 today. <laughs> and the rock fires off into the bush. Yeah. I was just coming out from doing the bear hang. Uh, there's some beautiful sun rays happening over there. God rays they're called. I don't know if that's just a photography world term or if everyone calls them that, but I'm time-lapsing those so they're gonna be bending as the clouds go by and I might be I might be looking too far left and missing those beauties over there. I just started it so I might restart. There, I did restart it because my intervals were too far apart and the time lapse would have been chick, 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 instead of oh. You can see my tripod right there still doing its time lapse and the sun's a blazing now, but it's not in the frame, so hopefully it's not blowing out my time lapse. So what now? I think I'll just go and check out that bay. Maybe there's a composition over there if the light works out. That cloud really swelled up. Looks like it might be dropping some light rain too. I think that is a little drizzle behind me. My food bags hung on the daytime tree. I don't want that filling up with any water. My chair's out. My tote might be open. I'm just almost at the end of this. I'm gonna take a look. It's Driftwood City. Oh, oh, that island looks so good. That's a sunset shot. Sunrise even. I hope the mic picked up that owl. Yeah, that owl's telling me something. The wind's picking up too. Let's get back. It's going crazy over there. It's so good looking. There's stars above the storm and, and orange, hot orange lightning within the storm. I can't see bolts. The bolts all lighting up. It's time lapsing and it's the stars are going to be moving move, and you won't see the clouds moving unless there's flashes happening.
good morning. It's uh, about 10 to 8 leading up to this trip I imagined every morning. Getting up before the sun and paddling to a pre-scouted sunrise spot or just doing it from shore. But no, I had an alarm and I, I said no. <laughs> I didn't sleep so good. I, uh, there was a lot of wind howling through the treetops and uh, I didn't hear any thunder but I kept waking up and feeling compelled to check my radar if the signal was good which it goes in and out. Clouds are moving along pretty good up there. Another windy one, as predicted. Some humidity too. I think the humidity is supposed to break overnight tonight. bummed about the wind. I had two canoe day trips mapped out. One to some rapids. From the aerial view there seems to be rapids there but water seems a little low. And the other one was out through a channel to Fawn Lake which also I read could be cut off at this time of year. Just, just shallow muck. But it's something I wanted to explore. But I'm all set for hiking. I'm going to go for a little hike here, check out some rocky features, streams and inlets, that sort of thing. Just see what we can see around that bay I paddled last night. So I'll pack some water, a snack, and off I go. green tastes just like mint gum although it gets a bit bitter after the initial burst of flavor this looks really fresh I wonder if 
this happened in the winds in the past day or so. And up here, you can see the uh, driftwood flow. Holy! Man, the, the amount of water that must rush through here in the spring runoff to be able to suck all this in from who knows how far around the lake this all comes in from, but geez, it must be raging. Actually, having said all that, the elevation goes up here, so this must just be pushed, wind blown. There are white caps out there. Been enjoying myself this whole walk. Of course, who couldn't enjoy this? But this spot, it's just pure, pure bliss. So at ease, these colors, the protection from the wind, calm water, things just moving. Now that you've seen the face of someone who is enjoying themselves, let's have a look at the face of someone who isn't. So unless this pike was carried over from a, some distance by a bird of prey or something, then there, uh, there's some pike in here because that's fresh. It doesn't even stink. Last night I was just paddling in here when I came upon that harbor of driftwood and I noticed how that island looked so good. Oh, 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 isolated out there in the middle and it looks good right now too. So I'm just stooping around looking for compositions to come back to later. Things like that. That's a little, little bit busy and the stump intersects with that rock. Try to separate those. You can't really see my screen. I'm holding you out above the water here, but that looks good. I think. Is a, is a root cupping that rock, sort of? Neat. Back from that hike about two hours ago and just kind of diddling around, got a little more wood and humming and hawing about whether I should go out on the water because it was gusting like to 50 and I'd grab a handful of sand and throw it up <laughs> horizontally, gone. So I was a little hesitant to go on the water but uh, I just won't go on one of my day routes. I'm just going to hug the shore. Maybe I'll go to the island, the usual one right there. There's a peninsula on the other side of it I could scout out whether I paddle around it or just paddle to that shore and walk. Just wanted to show you here. Sometimes I put the phone in precarious spots to get some dynamic shots of paddling. Uh, what I've done is with this phone case I've fed a tether through one of the portholes there. There's a loop here. Which I then just carabiner onto here. And that's tied to the yoke. And this will reach 
the back of the canoe, the front of the canoe. If it goes overboard, it's tethered to the canoe and the phone's waterproof. And, uh, yeah. They've also got these clamps to help rig up some of this madness. See how that looks. Beautiful little bay. Just gonna make my way to the other opposite point of the island. That'll be looking towards sunset. Take a gander at the roots on this behemoth. He's he's situated right on this boulder, so huge roots just desperately seeking water. He triumphed. That is huge. Hey! Hey! <laughs> the sandy beach. Well, that was a nice little find. A little slice of paradise in a big piece of paradise. I think we're just rounding the corner here. That faces my sight. Yeah, there's my sight. Let's see my tent. fast. I just got hit with a gust coming out of here. It spun me. I could hear it in the trees and then I could see the ripples and then poof! Some seashell pasta with a uh, bolognese sauce. I dehydrated that at home. Borrowed a friend's dehydrator. Thanks, lad. And this is the first time I've done it. Pretty soupy, I know, but this pasta is gonna drink it all up. I might even have to add more. When I did my test run at home, I kept adding water, adding water, adding water till it was done. I think I started it off with a good amount this time. Still might need to add more, but you can always simmer it down a bit and reduce it if you do add too much. Nearly 
you there? Mm -mm. And I'm adding cheese to that. You better believe I'm adding cheese to that. And also I added lentils to that sauce. Just to help with the uh, fiber out here, you know? I'm acting weird. Must be dinner time. Yeah. It tastes incredible. And it feels good too. I don't have anything else in mind, but I will look around and then I and then I gotta get back because I don't have a headlamp. <laughs> 